Hello everyone. You might be wondering what I'm doing. For the last 30 minutes, I have been trying to get unstuck out of this metal chair. TikTok is a wonderful place full of absolute chaos and randomness. Recently, a TikToker by the name of Sydney Joe found herself using the platform to share an unfortunate situation. After trying to make one video demonstrating something for TikTok, she ended up getting stuck in a folding chair. And I mean, really stuck. I'm gonna get into exactly how she got there and how she got out in just a moment. But first, if you could do us a big favor, please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. That out of the way, let's begin. Poor Sydney actually had to be rescued by the fire department after she tried to demonstrate an interesting sex position for TikTok. Although before that video was shared, we simply had a video of Sydney fully clothed, I might add, and stuck in a folding chair. She told her audience that she had been stuck like that for 30 minutes and was starting to panic when she couldn't find a way out. In a later video, she explained that her account has mainly been about sex work and giving advice for that, and so she was trying to make a post explaining that there are certain fetishes that people have where they want to be stuck. However, after completing that video, she was actually stuck and didn't like it one bit. The video is going viral on the platform right now as well as many other blogs that talk frequently about TikTokers and other influencers. The 27 year old from Denver pleaded with her audience as to what she should do in this situation and the comment section tried to offer up their best ideas as to how she could get out. One person said, did you try getting out the way you got in? Which is absolutely hilarious. It's like telling someone when they said their TV's not working, did you try plugging it in? Another person commented, unscrew the screws. Oh my God, I'm panicking too. I like how that rhymed. Although my favorite comment on this post, and it's truly the reason why TikTok's comment section is undefeated. No one can tell me otherwise. One person actually said, have you put it in rice? And as funny as these comments were though, with some trying to be helpful, she was still stuck. So in a last ditch effort, Sydney decided to call her local fire department to save the day. The funniest part of this rescue effort though is the fact that she is just standing there in her living room wearing this chair around her waist as the fire department comes in to help. And you kind of get this like weak little, hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, you did get it stuck on you, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Anybody yet? <laughs> You're first one today, so. I mean, the fire department must have thought that she was joking when she made that call originally. They actually first tried to use bolt cutters to break the chair leg off, but when the clamp just closed and nothing happened, uh, they needed to get a bigger tool. The firefighters actually came back into the house with the jaws of life and boom, the chair broke apart no problem. Luckily, she has a sense of humor because the comment section were ruthless in questioning her motives of getting stuck in that chair. One person wrote on the firefighter rescue video, now nah, I'm convinced she did this on purpose so these handsome men would come help her. I'm going to get stuck in a chair now too. Well, I mean, don't do that. There are far easier ways to meet people than getting stuck and calling 911. I really don't know how to feel about this situation though because Sydney explained in a follow-up video that the stuck fetish category is something that she is already pretty popular in. In fact, she's been doing it for like nine years. So to get stuck when your job is getting stuck just makes this whole situation hilarious. If she were unionized, she could probably file for a workplace accident report. I don't know. Alas, that is not how this works. I can't get, I'm, I'm literally stuck in this chair. And the lawnmower people just came by. <sighs> we would love to hear your thoughts on Sydney's unfortunate situation though. So make sure you drop us a comment down below with how you're feeling about it. And while you do that, I'm gonna check out some of your comments from the video titled 24,000 year old animal comes back to life. Andy D says, hopefully no diseases come from this. I mean, I didn't even think about that, but let's hope. Music L says, yes I owe. This is the kind of stuff we wanna hear about. Maybe just me. All right. We will bring you more stuff like that. Melissa says, all I could think of was Jared saying, science, baby. <laughs> me too, me too. Livy says, imagine waking up from a 24,000 year nap. I think I'd still be tired. Mar says, as someone who works in STEM, thanks for doing this story justice. Nailed it. Well, thank you so much for your comment. Either way, guys, that has been today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.